Is it possible that a universe is a computer simulation? The idea that everything we experience and perceive is an illusion generated by a higher entity has been debated in the scientific and philosophical communities for decades. From movies like The Matrix to theories of renowned scientists such as the theory of holographic universe presented by the theoretical physicist Juan Maldacena in 1997. The possibility that we are living in a virtual reality is a fascinating and terrifying idea at the same time. In this video, we will explore the concept of simulations and the scientific evidence that has been proposed to corroborate whether or not we are in a simulation. Get ready to question everything you thought you knew about reality and delve into one of the most intriguing theories in science. Let's get started. The idea that we live in a simulation has intrigued philosophers and scientists for centuries. One of the first philosophers to explore this idea was René Descartes. In his work, Metaphysical Meditations, he proposed that our world could be an illusion created by a demon that deceives us. Although this idea is similar to the simulation hypothesis, both raise the possibility that a reality is not what it seems. However, the simulation hypothesis as we know it today was popularized by philosopher Nick Bostrom in his essay, Are We Living in a Computer Simulation?, published in 2003. Bostrom argues that it is possible for an advanced civilization to have the ability to create a simulation so advanced that the beings in it believe that they are living in reality. In fact, according to Bostrom, it is more likely that we are living in a simulation than in reality. Bostrom's arguments rest on three assumptions. The first is that it is possible for an advanced civilization to have the ability to create a simulation so advanced that the beings in it believe that they are living in reality. The second assumption is that advanced civilizations are likely to do so. And the third assumption is that if an advanced civilization has created a simulation, it is likely that we are one of the simulations. Although the idea that we live in a simulation may seem far-fetched, it has been debated among scientists and philosophers in recent years. Some believe that the idea is exciting and could be a way to explain some of the mysteries of the universe, while others believe that it is a baseless idea and that there is no evidence to support it. However, the idea remains intriguing and continues to be the subject of debate in the scientific community. How to know if we are in a simulation or not? One of the fascinating questions when discussing the simulation hypothesis is how one could test whether or not we live in a simulation. Although there is no clear answer to this question, some scientists and philosophers have proposed various ways to verify whether our universe is real or a simulation. One of the most popular ways has been proposed to verify the simulation hypothesis is by searching for constraints in the universe. For example, if we live in a simulation, the simulation may have limitations that do not exist in reality. We could infer that we live in a simulation if we can identify these limitations. Another way it has been proposed to verify the simulation hypothesis is through the search for patterns in reality. If we live in a simulation, reality may be made up of repetitive patterns that do not naturally occur. We might infer that we live in a simulation if we can identify these patterns. It has also been proposed that measuring the speed of light could provide clues as to whether or not we are in a simulation. If we live in a simulation, the speed of light may be artificially limited. We could infer that we live in a simulation if we can measure this limitation. In addition, some scientists have proposed that errors in reality could indicate that we are in a simulation. If we live in a simulation, the creators can manifest programming errors in our reality. Despite these possible ways to test the simulation hypothesis, finding a clear and conclusive answer remains difficult. Many scientists and philosophers argue that even if we find patterns or limitations in reality, it would not necessarily indicate that we are in a simulation, since they could have a natural explanation. Also, the creators of the simulation may have made the simulation so advanced that we cannot detect any limitations or patterns that indicate that we are in a simulation. That is to say, there are still some ways in which we could try to verify the simulation hypothesis 
but this is still a difficult question to answer. Although we cannot wholly dismiss the idea that we live in a simulation, most scientists and philosophers believe that it is unlikely to be accurate and that our reality is objective. Experiments to find the truth Although for most people it might seem crazy or completely absurd to think that we are in a simulation, many scientists have proposed experiments that help us confirm whether or not the universe we live in is a simulation. Most of these experiments originally do not have the purpose of demonstrating if we are in a simulation, but eventually they have served us well. Some of these experiments are 1. The Double Slit Experiment The Double Slit Experiment is one of the most famous experiments in quantum physics and has been proposed to determine whether we are in a simulation. In the Double Slit Experiment, a beam of particles such as electrons or photons is shot towards a screen with two slits. Behind the screen, a detector is placed to measure the movement of the particles. Interestingly, if no device is placed to observe the experiment, the particles behave like waves and diffuse through both slits, creating an interference pattern on the screen. However, suppose the experiment is observed with some observing instrument. In that case, the particles behave like particles and only pass through one of the two slits creating two separate bands on the screen. That is, the mere fact of observing the experiment changes the result. According to some scientists and philosophers, this experiment could prove that we live in a simulation. If we lived in a simulation, the creators could have programmed the universe so particles behave like waves without being directly observed. In other words, the observation of the experiment could be the result of the simulation itself rather than being a reflection of reality. What do you think? Let us know your opinion in the comments. Some scientists and philosophers argue that this experiment's interpretation is incorrect. Quantum physics offers an alternative explanation of the experiment. Particles behave like waves due to quantum interference. When the particles pass through the two slits, they intertwine, creating an interference pattern on the screen behind the plate. This quantum explanation suggests that the experiment is not conclusive proof of the simulation. Although the double slit experiment was not initially created to discover whether we are in a simulation, its interpretation is controversial. Some scientists and philosophers see the similarity between the quantum physics interpretation and the simulation hypothesis as proof of simulation. In contrast, others argue that the quantum interpretation is sufficient to explain the experiment. Ultimately, the interpretation of the equipment is a matter of debate in physics and philosophy, and there is no conclusive answer yet. 2. Evolution Simulation Experiment The Evolution Simulation Experiment, also known as AVIDA, was conducted at the University of Michigan to simulate evolution on a microscopic scale. The experiment is based on a software model that uses digital organisms called AVIDA that reproduce and evolve through genetic mutations and natural selection. This experiment has been used as possible evidence that our universe could be a simulation. The logic behind this claim is that if we can not simulate the evolution of digital organisms, couldn't it be possible that some higher being created our reality as a simulation? However, this interpretation of the Evita experiment has several limitations and criticisms. First. Simulating evolution through a software model differs significantly from simulating an entire universe. Also, although we can simulate evolution through a computer program, we're not sure that a computer program can generate a simulation as complex as our universe. Furthermore, even if we accept that our universe is a simulation, we cannot rule out the possibility that this simulation has unique physical laws and evolutionary processes. In other words, even if we are in a simulation, this does not necessarily mean that the results of the Avita experiment apply to our simulated reality. Although the simulation of evolution experiment has been used as possible evidence that our universe is a simulation, this interpretation is controversial. Testing or evidence has not yet confirmed it. 3. Experiment on the detection of errors in the laws of physics the physics law error detection experiment is based on the hypothesis that if we live in a simulation, the laws of physics on which the simulated universe is based may not be perfect and may contain errors or patterns that could be detected. 
The idea behind this experiment is that if scientists can detect an error in a known law of physics, it could be evidence that the universe we live in is a simulation. Since, in a perfect simulation, there should be no errors in the laws of physics. There could also be patterns in the laws of physics that could be programming cues in the simulation. However, this experiment is even more theoretical than the others mentioned, since it has not been done in practice. Even so, some theoretical physics experts have proposed looking for possible errors or patterns in the laws of physics. For example, if an inconsistency is found in the law of gravity, which is one of the universe's fundamental laws, it could indicate that we are in a simulation. Also, there is a proposal to search for repetitive patterns in the laws of physics. This could indicate that the simulation uses an underlying mathematical structure, a pattern commonly used in programming. In short, the physics law error detection experiment is an exciting hypothesis that proposes looking for errors or patterns in the laws of physics as evidence that we are in a simulation. Although it has not yet been realized in practice, it is an exciting theoretical approach that could provide new clues about the true nature of the universe in which we live. The idea that the universe we live in could be a simulation is an exciting topic that has been explored by scientists and philosophers for decades. Although there is still no definitive answer, the previous experiments and proposed theories are helping to advance our understanding of the nature of the universe and how it works. It is important to remember that regardless of whether the universe is a simulation, we're still conscious beings and are experiencing the reality we are in. Whether we are part of a simulation should not diminish the importance of our existence and lives. Furthermore, exploring this theory could have broader implications for our understanding of the universe, technology, and artificial intelligence. If we can create realistic simulations of our technologies, how can we be sure we're not in a simulation ourselves? Ultimately, the possibility of living in a simulation reminds us that we still have much to learn and discover about the universe and our very existence. As human beings, our curiosity and desire to know the truth are the forces that drive us to continue exploring and discovering the world around us. Whether the universe is a simulation or not, this search for knowledge will always be essential to our evolution as a species. What do you think? Do you think we are in a simulation or not? Let us know your opinion in the comments of this video.